For all the latest reviews, interviews, and everything entertainment in Tamil, Kannada, Malayalam, and Telugu, subscribe to Film Companion South now. Hello, Mr. Selva Raghu, and welcome to Film Companion South. So uh, we are here to do one deep focus. My uh, comment on that is that, and the part of you guys, you guys, at some time roughly, was around the time that you guys, the Vishnu Bhuma concert, were attending, right? So what was your headspace in the part of you guys? Both, uh, I think, were slightly uh, in the pre-production club, or time, or other project, I think, was it right? In that part of your part? We had a short time, but uh, we are used to it like that, like okay. uh, short time for uh, pre-production. So. it's it's never a problem like okay, uh, okay. it's more of a, a personal space and everything a lot of uh, so it was never a problem like we had time okay so because so no we were going in and out for visitor room also like uh, commissar used to call us like for <coughs> visitor room and everything okay so once we are clear like uh, it's not going to happen then we are full into you know my command and i Was it also that Ayurveda lover? Ne, the Kumaradi wanted to do one big part, one big logistics. Ah, uh, one. Let's take a breather with a slightly more intimate film. And the more your logic uh, led to the part, ma, illa already were prepared. Pani idna led to the part and decide pani part ma. No, it was. Uh, we spent a lot of time in Ayurveda lover. Like afterwards, like we, need, you are right. Like we need a kind of breather, you know. Sure, you. Because, but. Uh, The truth is, when it comes to movies, there is never a breather. <laughs> <laughs> so all the experience are same, whether it's small or big or anything. Once you get used to it, it's like then it's all the same. The experience are same. So this Danush character, I feel that maybe that Selva Raghavan himself. Not really. <laughs> genius. Uh, he's called genius. He's labeled as a little eccentric, and uh, people tell him that. Uh, like it's a little difficult to be around this person I, I, these are all things that one has heard whether true or not nobody knows but these a genius part i agree because i really do think that you have brought in a very very different side to tamil cinema other definite but the other parts are they also a little bit of you might be true you know <laughs> <laughs> but it is uh, always when you make a movie there is always a personal side of a filmmaker involved right uh like it doesn't have to be a maikaman you know karthik like it can be ayrath lorun muthu or something when your personal sides are little bit involved like uh, so not completely but not uh, uh out of it also it is in there and not in there like uh, because you can't call that totally myself or myself was there a little bit <laughs> ipo if if just to take off this question ipo if, if i were to say which selva raghavan hero or leading man is closest to you na would you have an answer would you know yeah, maybe karthik swami or yeah from my command mm. see that's why i'm asking you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a very interesting film because idu vande there are two narrative threads each of them could have become its own movie one is i'm falling in love with my Uh, uh best friend's girlfriend and that's the story that's a dramatic love story kind of thread another one is i want to be a photographer and whatever journey hurdles whatever it is in the rendu thing that how did that combination of these two storylines come about you see it's about life life is not about a single thing you know like a right. struggling photographer uh you won't have it's just a life like struggling photographer you are per- personal life also like so it's when it comes to making a little complicated character like that or more realistic i would call it like right. uh, more realistic person like karthik swami or then you need to analyze every you know part of him like uh, its professional side and what he's trying to struggle also his personal side and his friends and so it doesn't have to be one single sided like uh, i think nowhere in the uh, I mean in cinema worldwide no they never focused on yeah fair enough one side yeah. of a man or a protagonist you know? right no and i why i'm saying this is because uh, usually one angle will be the more dominant angle and the see let's say karthik is becoming a photographer then you'll have a romantic track but usually this depth of a romantic track won't be there because you're not just saying it's you i have a lo- girlfriend or whatever it is you're also saying best friend there's a complicated thing there i think that's what makes this so textured and alive 
you know that's what i was asking you when when you started writing itself was it this this whole thing about like like what is the what is the beginning of this movie when i started writing it i thought why couldn't be like uh, you know what why we need a breeze like uh, the other side should be like uh, yeah some girl met him and falling in love with him or and singing songs or singing what? songs or like it doesn't make any sense you know so let him be like uh, part of a character uh, uh, let his life uh, some people have a tough life you know whether it's romantic or something like that like let him what i wanted to try what i want to convey is let him have all have a shades of is uh i mean struggle towards photography even the prof- uh, personal side like you know let him all have a shades like let him have like it's 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 uh, like that's why it's no no what uh, shades and uh, when when it comes to photography it's blacks and you know something yeah. like that let's have uh, his personal life also let it be that way Lovely, let's yeah. don't have a like simply you know what you just met a girl and she's all over in love with right. you or something like that like uh, yeah the girl so, is not just a murga for this yeah, you know yeah. it's like uh, she's uh, genuine so even if that follows after he got married or something like that it's not going to be you know what uh, uh, because when you analyze a picture like when you analyze a photograph like there are a lot of shades to it like uh, i want that kind of photograph to be his life right when it takes it forward you know yeah. that's parts of everything as his character you know why particularly wildlife photography was it just something that you know was there anything that in your mind that said he should be a wildlife photographer i want to <coughs> analyze what is not been done like yeah uh, it can be like uh, photography is something it's very rarely done in tamil cinema uh, maximum even i heard is a wedding photograph <laughs> you know like wildlife photographer i am fascinated like i can identify with all my life i want to be a wildlife photographer apart from film maker like because i think everybody has it. just take a camera and go somewhere in the jungle, jungle out of yeah. this uh, concrete jungle and just wait for a lion to knock our door and click a picture <laughs> or something like that i hope i am very sure that it's not that simple you know you have to sometimes wait for days and months or something like that but uh, it's always i think it's very close to you know what being yourself you can find yourself in there like very close to nature and something like that i was fascinated about it so i thought when it going to make a movie about photographer and then i thought what is going to be very close to you know his personal side right so we were thinking about what is going to be very close to his personal side and uh, uh, which can be like his personal side side going to be very difficult he is going to be cheated he is going to be like that like which is going to be very close to you know mother nature at least one side he should feel that bliss what is giving him the strength you know to to tackle all the other problems or something like that so this kind of uh, uh, things went on into my mind to uh, you know make it a wildlife photographer rather than not a like identify a profession for him you know? yeah and i think one of the most brilliant parts of the screenplay is when uh, kartik uh, he goes to try some commercial photography and there's this apple or something like that and 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 he fails horribly because his heart is not in it but then he goes to the forest and like he just succeeds amazingly so that is like it's almost like you said this is nature you know like uh, there's a lovely line in the movie that says uh, uh, forest la poi padu edutha kadavul pakkathla irukra maathiri irukku that's like you know it's a uh, it's it's like that's his nature do you feel have you ever felt like that sometimes when you're making a movie that that it's almost like a divine thing that's happening to you i'm asking seller agon not kartik yeah when or i you see there a lot of uh, to be very frank uh, you have your problems you have your uh, i mean you know a lot uh, you have your depressions you have your a um, lot of uh, things going on to your head but not when you like uh, open your door and a uh, car door or whatever bike or whatever and step into the set when you just step into like very you know film everything is like forgotten like uh, you feel one with something i don't call maybe it is for him mother nature for us i don't know like when you just like uh, that's what i think you know what none of it matters whether it's money or uh, relationships or it is just about our it is about like you know what trying to uh, f- film it as soon as possible or none of it matters you just step into it you feel 
you feel one with something yeah. like uh, yeah. yeah that's true i think that's what it's about like do what you really like maybe it, it won't happen when i do something else so i felt it when i was in a 22 you know what when i really want to be a filmmaker and there was huge be a lot of struggle and something like when there was nothing apart from one camera has been given to you and it's like when you first step like uh, do it nothing happened don't worry <laughs> or it happens after the 40th second day or something like that first it was very scary can i do it or something like that but today it's you forget sometimes even i forget i have a family or I, i used to tell people like you know what oh when they call you realize yeah i have a family correct like <laughs> it might uh, sound like you know what like over exaggerating or something no. but that's the truth i can only tell you you know no and yeah. i'm asking you because yeah. this movie is so close to like it gives a sense of what it must be to have that creative mind space because the reason the girl likes him also in one way is because like she's just doing this mechanical job and how look she's just like whatever you know it's a, but he really wants to do a job in fact there's a line that says pidikara vale seyano illana setterno or something like that he wants to really that he's that passionate about it but like i'm just just randomly asking you is this practical advice because today like you know people out there to youngsters or whatever it is you should either do what you like or it's better not to be alive like no, dying part is not the practical <laughs> one obviously yeah <laughs> but uh, see i can only tell you as the person do i mean doing it like what i really right. like the joy of it the the you know what the ecstasy of it and it depends on yeah. you like i think everybody can do it obviously yeah. you can do what you but you have to realize you know the price you have to pay for it yeah. like yeah. you know you going to if you're going to experience that much joy in life like being that close to what you do then are you prepared to go that extra mile yeah but not dying you know yeah. that is that is wrong you know no so that line where forest la photo edta kadavul pakkathula irukka mari irukku is that the reason that 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 leaf falls from the heaven and kind of settles on his face did you have that in mind or was that just a coincidence that that line and no, it is uh, when i thought about it like see every profession when you really like and do it there is something happens in one experience happens like for a film maker for me something happens like if you're going to do like even in like you are you loves i mean uh, uh, working in a software company something will happen which makes you feel you know what every day is so close to what you really like right, to yeah. do like yeah. we thought it is a film wildlife photographer or something like that so i was thinking what the best he could do like uh, for falling on a leaf might be sounds very simple to you yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's for him it's like a, it's uh, like a blessing blessing like uh, coming from up above yeah. like something like we felt is a thought process a little bit of thought process went on into that yeah. you know. so let's talk about the the heroine introduction right because she's like uh, the major character in this movie i love that scene where this uh, danush and uh, ramu are singing puve puchudava because that's a scene where she sees the photographs on the on the camera and that's when she knows that this guy has taken the photos and that's what drives the entire second half but coming back to the beat scene uh, first an, a random question this song that plays over the that track is uh, metallica's nothing else matters is that one of your favorite songs or is, did gv pick that no 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 first i think i don't know who picked up like <laughs> somebody just randomly some uh, somebody i think yeah. okay yeah okay. maybe that time i was listening to it i don't know i don't remember you know there is this one uh, thing where you you sundar brings the girl Uh, they're sitting by the beach, and this whole gang of friends they are sitting and having some biryani or something like that. And the she comes along, and at first we don't see her at all. The first time we actually see her is when Danush switches on the torch light and aims it at her face. Now take me through the thought process of this particular moment. That's an interesting question. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. Uh, you know there are. Uh, a bit of when they meet you know normally when we meet falling in love or uh, some it, it is just something like that i want to have uh, the two main characters of a film like you know uh, kind of fighting each other or not fighting uh, it is like something like uh, you know uh, seeing the uh, opposite what you hate the most or something like that this guy hates you know what that kind of 
admin personality and that girl hates this kind of personality like and it's not when this is like uh, it's not when you hate or somewhere deep inside you have like you know what i don't like that kind of people i want to bring on something other than you meet that kind of person two people meet that way so this is the girl like that is the guy like uh, something some process went <laughs> i don't know i forgot you know okay no i was wondering if you had something like you know that sundar doesn't see her in the way that danush mm. sees her right away which is why when he shines the torch you know that we all see what's what uh, danush sees see when uh, uh, i want to see danush kind of person you know when he sees he sees through you yeah that is what it hurts her like you know that is what she gets annoyed right so that's what yeah yeah she, that's what she gets annoyed and that's what she gets angry like she is she sees through you yeah what do you want like if there is no fake uh, respect or uh, how are you there is no uh, uh, effort to trying to be your friend yeah. or it's a straight away like you know what what is it like something like that yeah. so i thought it would form a base into a, you know what future uh, to form a, a little bit of interesting uh, romantic a romance happening between two tough people rather than you know easy yeah, easy, yeah, easy yeah. kind of get along people like so that that was it so mm-hmm. because one thing that that when you see the movie is that y- you don't have a moment where they fall for each other like throughout you have this this kind of weird attraction that happens uh, for them right it's like a like you know that he's kind of attracted her you know that she's but but the, exactly what is it is it love at first sight is it you they're not able to put up like a point on it and say that's what's nice about it that you're not able to easily define that relationship but how did you see it as like when did the real is it what you just said which is that they both uh, like he sees through her and she likes it that uh is that what it is the basis of that really it i thought it'd be interesting when two people see through each other okay so then you need to have don't need to have mask or anything or trying to pretend like someone or trying to you know what uh talk rubbish i mean like you know what i like uh, grammar or i like you know what uh, do, do, do about car races or something they don't talk about anything like that right. they come straight to the topic you know they just see through it and that relationship you know what goes straight to till the end yeah you know they don't you know there is no uh, uh fake words yeah it's a, it's a straight bang into point like yeah. that is the core of the film you're asking yeah. me like yeah. know, that's what i want to try to do i was trying to do yeah and and it's amazing because mm. even at the end after getting the freaking award he thanks his friends but it's almost like he thinks i don't need to thank her right because she knows but then he comes back and and he says that so there is a thought process there is something else i i don't know i whether it reached or something uh see why he didn't thank her it's like thanking himself yeah he doesn't need so to technically need to yeah, yeah. thank then he thought about it like maybe she what if she couldn't understand like yeah she knows like still but she is uh, a kind of her, like maybe she is sitting with her friends or something like that might like she might like to be appreciated you know in between her once yeah once or something like that but even i don't have to do it that's why the hesitation in the walk maybe i don't have to do it maybe i will do it why for the sake of it i'll do it yeah. only yeah some it, it went on but i don't know how, how much people how many people got no, that it's, you know? it's beautiful yeah. because yeah. another another, another like uh, like like it comes out throughout the film like you said because that sundar character uh, sundar ramu he like danush tells him something like uh, macha i love you da or something I, i i i love you so much something something but that i love you he basically tells sundar but there's not one scene in the film where he tells yamini i love you or i like you or even like like or how happy i mean he farts in front of her but he doesn't tell her i love you so that's like that and you maintain that till the end because even when the last time when he calls her and she picks up the phone is when you cut it's basically like that's private that's between both of them and we are not allowed into that space that's what you had planned right it's yeah. like a it's like a thing so so you deliberately did not want any i love you moments uh, between this couple i thought the audience would assume that it's never going to happen you know after that they're not going to get engaged in a, a romantic talk or something like it might be <coughs> very very private between two minds like which went through a tough times and uh, i wanted to leave it to audience imagination you know what it could be 
Right. It's never, never going to be a romantic conversation. It's never going to be, you know, what, what happened. Like, uh, uh, are you? F she's not going to ask him. Are you feel thrilled about getting that award? Or he is go not going to ask her. Like, uh, hey, how has been? Like, I never spoke to you for all this time. No, it's going to be something very, very special. So I just want to leave it to audience imagination. You just imagine, you know, what, what it could be. Because even I was, uh, I would be thrilled to see what they both spoke. Those characters yeah. spoke. So better way is just to cut it and leave it to their imagination. <laughs> yeah. you know? Because whatever I do afterwards, it won't do justice to yeah. such complicated characters. So I thought, okay, let's cut it that way. You know? So when, after they are married, you have that small, that one song where they're kind of going, traveling about and that's probably the only time we see some happy moments of that couple together. Why did you feel you wanted that, that little bit of happiness before the real tragedy again sets in. That was just for a contrast or did you just feel I want a song in that place because the film needs to breathe a bit or when you wrote it, what, what, is, what is your feeling then? I did uh, nothing like that. It would be I think exciting like he, he doesn't go happy moment. He goes on an assignment, you know, assignment. Okay. He goes for a clicking photograph and uh, to earn his, uh, you know, what uh, some money or something. I think always uh, deep inside me when you go something like that and it take you a you know, wife, I think it'd be fun because it happened to me <laughs> like uh, uh, it would be fun when you have a wife along and only for the first time. So even yeah, then yeah. it's within his the context of the profession, it's not some romantic side no, side no, note. No, no. Like uh, maybe introduce her, uh, if you see that song like uh, the visuals won't be like, you know, they are like uh, 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 singing happy lines yeah, or yeah, anything yeah, like yeah. it. They're always about clicking pictures. Yeah. He goes to a, a wedding, wedding and, and uh, yeah, cooking pictures. He makes pictures, a whole light. Whole and, light and where do you stay in the night in the forest or something like that. Maybe it is something like he, he wants to introduce his world to her or which is she wants to know very badly like what your world would be like. Right. So, I think that only that much thought process went on. No, that's yeah, fine yeah. because other way that's so much of mm. like because see we come from a culture where we are a very spoon fed film culture mm. like for the lo longest time Except for a few directors, we spoon feed a lot. So when we come to something like this, you want the audience to get this. Does that fear ever play in your mind that, yes, I want to make a movie like this, but given, should I also have a little safety net? Uh, do you ever think that way? Uh, even if you later reject it while you're going for shooting, does that thought ever play in you that maybe I should explain this a little I more? I think most, uh, I, I'm the one like uh, paid a huge price for not spoon feeding in my but spoon feeding, it kind of, you know, what it's irritating. Like, <laughs> if better you understand, like it's movie, you know, what you just, why don't you just get it and understand rather than me trying to tell you it's already been there. It's already there to realize and right. understand. Then again, I'm going to, you know, what five minutes I'm going to take time, see why it is happened is this and that, which has already been told in pictures, yeah, you know, yeah. uh, film movie is about pictures, which is moving pictures. You got it already. Then, uh, you're not going to use your subconscious mind into focusing and giving not respect for film. Yeah. Bad comes the, you know what, uh, necessity, I mean necessary, necessity to spoon feed. That means uh, you are not focusing, giving, not giving the respect for a film. You're not focusing that much, not engrossed in a film. Then comes the necessity to, for, a, uh, for me to spoon feed you. Right. I thought from the first film when I got, I'm not going to do it get it like or you assume it like close to it something like that yeah so sometimes i paid a price for it or sometimes it worked yeah. like you know they got it like one interesting thing among many i keep saying interesting but everything is interesting in this one but but one of the nice things in this is that you have a very new concept of family that dhanush and his sister are basically brought up by friends how did this idea just come to you? Like, like this, it's, it's a lovely idea that I don't have like a traditional dad, mom, my friends are my family, which makes it harder for another person to enter the circle because they are already so close knit, they don't want, they want to make sure that the right person enters this circle and doesn't disturb that dynamic. How, how did that idea come about? It's always somebody's, you know, fantasy, I think. <laughs> you <laughs> friends know what, family. yeah. <laughs> like you don't have, uh, you know what, you don't have a mother or father or like just the household is like simply like you <laughs> and your sister. And uh, it's, a, it's kind of interesting. 
and uh, thrilling i think you know yeah. <laughs> even the dad is like a friend yeah unlike your 7g rainbow colony dad he's like mm-hmm. like a buddy and you know like you drink all you want i put you to bed like a fantasy you know it's just kind of a <laughs> yeah <laughs> so when you have this friend family and you they are taking care to make sure that the other person who comes in won't disturb this dynamic i always thought of this but it's not there in the movie i've always wondered will yamini feel a little insulted that sundar is asking his friends to accept her and not just say machi she is my girlfriend he's not saying that he's like like will you please welcome her to our family and the he's like kind of almost like pleading with them now if you were on the girl's place would you feel a little the like, scene is there she says it like why why, why i need to you know what uh, i thought uh, the the most important uh, guy in the circle is uh, dhanush yeah so why he brings I mean in, and her and then see this is a girl this is a girl why you needs appreciation yeah. from him and straight away it's in the lines like, yeah i thought like we need to we, we can't like uh, summarize it as friends right i thought summarizing it as one guy so it's it's right it's, there it's there, like, there. Yeah, it's no right what i meant there. is it's like he accepts like because he's like why do you even need this this validation right now but i'm saying would it have hurt her a bit to know that sundar is doing that because it's like what is this instead of just introducing me directly you're doing this so it, it's coming from dhanush not from yamini is what i'm trying to say yeah everything see it's it's like uh, uh, there is uh, a bit went on the other side of their relationship between yamini and sunda like what i want little bit to convey see they must have met in their professional right circle you know and if i'm going to uh, create a, i mean if you're going to show a girl like uh, meeting other guy and falling in love it's going to make her a little cheap or something like that. it is something like when it happens when it happens when i see the other side of sundar everything about him is like you know i don't like what he does every i don't like what he does that is the base to you know what fall in love with the other guy. other person other yeah. person so these are all like, little things that uh, little are things are adding on to it like the way he behaves the way he gets drunk it's been shown in the yeah, film like valentine's yeah, day yeah valentine's yeah. day gets drunk and she doesn't like him that way or in the a song uh, you know what he is getting drunk and uh, jumping all over she doesn't like even one side of i she never expected this guy to be this way yeah yeah you know your relationship you can't uh, just fall in love with the person thinking everything going to be all right about the guy sometimes we made them in workspace yeah that's why it is all fine see most of the relationship they have a problem when you go to the other side and see oh my god this is not what i expected so we then they, that is the concept of you know what breaking up comes yeah yeah that is what the base for you know what yamini to reject him not the cheap side of you know what the friend is better than yeah 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 sundar or something like that so yeah like yeah. these little things this is uh, this is about see, this, again this when you are where i come to it see uh, 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 this process you know i think the photography when it comes to it is you know what riddles you know kind of every photograph you mean there is unknown uh, uh, meanings into yeah. every photograph so i want to construct, construct a movie where everything is like kind of photographed like you know what unknown means little riddles yeah. the relationship can't going to be normal you know later in the wedding this is not going to be a normal wedding everything is you know what there is a puzzle in it there is thing in it something like this this is the core for writing a screenplay yeah. for a film like a- my camera absolutely Kamala, and you know? and the, and yeah. the beauty of such a writing and that's why i really appreciate you're not spelling it out mm-hmm. is that i'm going to see a different movie the person next next to me is because each person comes with our own baggage of relationships and other things and we'll see it added to the the riddles that you are you are giving us and one of my favorite riddles in the film and this is like flat out genius uh, which is what <laughs> kartik is called is the cut from the video uh, game being played uh, they are like you think that sundar and kartik have made up and that that they've not uh, they have settled this yamini issue between them because their father has made them drink and he's kind of okay and then they are playing games and yamini has come out there and she's the, the i think it's the maid or somebody the, the household help or somebody who comes up and she says avanga vandirukanga and uh, these guys want to chase her away cut to the wedding <laughs> that's just amazing was that your original instinct in the screenplay or did you have some scenes in between that you didn't said no, i don't need to there was nothing written or anything like that okay that was your first that instinct was, uh, that i'm yeah. cutting from this scene to this scene yeah 
the scene is a might be a simple scene but uh, the real thing is like uh, they <laughs> he is uh, uh, exhausted with the fake side of him trying to see, you know say uh, i'm not in love with her like yeah. how long he is going to pretend that yeah. way that way even the whole uh, uh, video game is something like that like it is every part of you is want to jump into that's clearly shown in dhanush film you know what give me a chance i want to jump and go hugger or something like she's right there man right. so every part of him is like that's it's clearly when we were talking to each other dhanush and me this is what i told him you know like every part of you should be you know what she's right there like she's right there and you went through a lot to get to her and she's right there asking you to come and how many people in life like a girl comes right there right. in the near uh, and ask you to come on man let's go or something like that it's never going to happen again and just for the bonding of you know friend or anything like that that's why i put it the video game the whole game is you know what whole thing is a uh, uh, fake you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. they're almost like pretending to yeah, pretending not, to pretending like, okay, to let's pretend know. yamini is not out there yeah. you know like like let's pretend we're ignoring that she's out there yeah. and then bam you just cut and the and the wedding because happens. they both know the truth is eventually yeah. it's going to happen yeah. sundar and him it both going to know that yeah whether it's a video game day or 10th day or something like that they're going to end up getting married right right and even the dad knows because he's smiling beside him and sundar says look at my dad he's actually smiling whereas he thinks his dad should be supporting him but as a dad the more practical person he says you guys are the he's most suited got maturity you know? yeah he's you got... you are the most suited to each other so it's it's right that you guys should marry so dad is like he knows he gets it that's really like a gautam dad you know for some reason <laughs> i feel like it's like a it's like a gautam dad in a selva universe did you do you feel that when you were writing him no i know but that thing was how did you see the character of kartik because does he have some self esteem issues or uh, rendwati when she slaps him he calmly accepts that 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 you know as as a part of you understand why he accepts the slap when sundar slaps him because then then he knows he's done something wrong and he's getting a slap because he deserves it but when yamini kind of does it what is going on in his mind see you know, if i try to tell you the truth it's weird you know <laughs> i want that truth that is why it's... we like you <laughs> because otherwise we don't see when you're after something like you want to do in life and you're struggling or it's a passion or uh, uh, do what you want to do it's like summarizing it in that way you know what nothing matters you know uh, rest of all is like kind of process you know like yeah i met a girl yeah somebody something like that happens everything else seems to be you know what a part of irrelevant happening to you everything else seems to be you know what uh, uh, it doesn't matter what happens to you around except when it happens something like a photography related to it where you feel one and you feel like yourself uh, that th- th- throughout the film it happens in dhanush uh, character when it comes to photography he is alive everywhere else he is like this yeah you know he is dumb like he is okay let's be a part of it he is never into if you ask me he is never into your relationship relationship kind of thing it just happened and he just like, kind of likes a girl and but you never seen him you know going out of the way to you know what to speak to her or get her hand into wedding or anything like that right. it happened yeah. like uh, when you do what do you want to do really and when you do a filmmaker in my experience if you ask me today you know what everything else doesn't matter like uh, you got married and you got things everything else just seems to be yeah i but if you ask me my heart was there no never they like, you know what when you got when you got married you're so happy you got married or anything like it would be scary if i tell you that my oh, wife will beat me about it like but it's all boring it's all boring rather than this one thing when it comes to i really love photography right. i really love making films so that's why she slapped me so what's the big deal i don't want to react to such too thing minor. too minor too minor things rather than you know what tomorrow i'd rather think about okay what i'm going to click now or tomorrow morning what i be like taking my you know uh, for a camera and do right, right. rather than that is relevant rather than she's done something like that she doesn't matter to me right that's right. Uh, scary but you that's know, what the yeah. mind frame of yeah. uh, i think a person who's in love with this craft you know brilliant yeah. now another thing that that is very unique in your films is 
you have sometimes the actors act at this normal pitch that we are used to sometimes you take them to a higher pitch now when, now in this you don't see that much in ngk we saw it a lot uh, but in this film we see like the sundar ramu for example in that valentines day scene when he's telling them to dance 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 you see him like behaving like a that's partly the alcohol but it's also like he's in a slightly heightened uh, performance zone tell me your interest in this zone and why you push your actors into the zone just like i'm just trying to wrap my head around what what is it that that you give us in the zone it's, it's madness you know it's, like it's a bit of madness more than madness and uh, why you drink basically you want to be like you know come out of your comfort zone and be something you can't call it as being yourself but you want to touch that high people right. call it high that yeah you dance you do this there's you can't do that way when you don't drink you know they call him mad then you can't behave that way but everything is like uh, covered when you drink and do it like you say oh yeah he's drunk you feel it like in one word like uh, <laughs> so it's <laughs> simply uh, simply you can you know what that's it might be the uh, process of it you know and so like just to take it forward to the sai pallavi character in uh, ngk uh, just about this method alone when she is when she suspects that surya might be having an affair she also like reacts in a plane that is higher now there instead of drink it's the anger driving it so you're saying she's also mad but more because of the like mad in a way like i'm really mad at you like that and uh, you're expressing that madness through that that heightened performance is that is that what it is you see everybody has a madness inside them covered like most of the time uh, we don't show it sometimes we go to a grave without showing it like you know but sometimes life it happens certain right. moments happen to bring it out right. like in this case she really loved him like uh, uh, the kind of person she would expect at least to cheat on him a cheat on her or something like that when it happens something like that in real life it happens you just bust i think uh, people who i think law, almost every one of us go through it right that uh, you know that madness possesses for a moment of you know 5 uh, minutes or 10 minutes or sometimes it months like you don't talk to that other person at all you get really angry like so maybe it's my way of showing the other side of madness you know it's fantastic <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. when you look at movies like uh like arjun reddy kartavilla day or or uh, uh mayakamanna uh, i think mayakamanna is the first of these that kind of brought this you you have what is traditionally called a damaged person he's like for whatever reason well not damaged damaged but there is something internal in him that 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 prevents him from acting normal like like anybody else would right now so when you write the woman on the other side there is always going to be a question in your mind saying why does this person put up with this person right it's like a, even if you don't answer it 100% you will have an idea in your head she is with this person because so i want what is selvaragavan's because in this case why the girl has to be with him yeah like not necessarily has to be we see because we see all what does she finds it interesting what is in why does she know. continue to support him yeah what is her uh, is it just the fact that he's in love with his job and he sees her like for who she is what is it that that again it's a little controversial if i tell you but i think the rather a boring normal plain person woman find it little interesting in them like <laughs> like he is interesting you know the rather than what is the alternative she is going to end up with you know like uh, plain like lovey dovey gonna give you roses you know if you ask if you t- speak to a lot of women i think they find them boring rather than you know what there is a flavor to them right. there is an interesting angle to them this guy is so much in in my comment that girl says you know what i'm jealous of you that even i do my job but you are like the job when you're doing it you are the uh, camera like how many people could do that way i'm so jealous of you that girl answers your question yeah. in simplified way i think women find it uh, men who are uh, they think uh, you see uh, in my uh, limited experience in life you think women like uh, going all about them is women like them no it's about women who sees the men who are all about the way you do or about your work or 
women find them interesting is okay. my humble opinion about they falling in love or something like that sure no. but even there would you say that there is a there is a limit it comes with a price that's what i'm saying oh, okay. like, so that so you're it saying comes that with a price. price you can't okay. uh, have women maybe uh, they accept uh, the uh, positivity with the negativity okay. you know what okay. when he's going to be that's what he's saying he even she herself admits he's a genius she says after the wedding you know i know about my husband he's a genius right. so they she knows deep inside like uh, this man has problems so i think life is interesting when you have problems and she and takes you know, it like a challenge she takes it as a challenge like one day might be all right see when even when you show at the end when danush comes down or quit drinking you wouldn't see that he is again he hasn't become uh, the way like you know what next day is going to buy you flowers or anything that is a calmness is become calm is become quiet is in the way he walks and the way he accepts it yeah. that is even more interesting there than you know what that the way j- typical uh, uh, you know what is going to run around and say oh i am waiting for you when you going to turn up at home nothing like that uh, or say i'm so uh, sorry i treated you this yeah, way yeah treated or, you this yeah. way you never apologize to her i think uh, that answer <laughs> so, you know <laughs> my favorite thing about the drinking scene is that she comes from behind and you have him in in front and he doesn't see her at all and uh, he is pouring the uh, the drink and of course everybody thinks he is going to start drinking but then he pours that that uh, the, the bottle and for some reason the first time i saw this movie i thought he was going to turn back and look at her you know like like saying nee da you me and me na kudiko poranda na nancha so but i'm actually not drinking you know it's like a, i'm just having this one last you mean glass. at the end at the end yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so is that yeah. one glass that's that's like some you don't even like even there there's some kind of unspoken understanding between uh this 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 man and this woman which i think really takes takes us back to one one very romantic tradition in literature where like like people have this very stormy uh you know passions which which kind of uh, i don't know it may seem a little odd to others today kind of a, of a thing so yeah because he is doing it for himself not yeah. for her yeah i think that's what it strikes her also that's what she starts believing that he's going to change yeah. rather than trying to prove a point to her like you know what uh, uh, you are watching me behind behind he is not even aware that she's, she's standing there, yeah, there. Yeah. so it's it's doing it for himself like pouring it and maybe one last drink something like that but uh, <laughs> he's doing it for himself rather than uh, see at the beginning i asked you how much of you was in this character and i think you're slowly answering my question <laughs> in this film you have both a like a men they're singing this this song kadal in kadal there is a song there's a line that says adida avala odada avala what is going on there tell me maybe people have taken it you know what in a commercial angle or anything like that uh, uh, i apologize also for writing that right, which is right. wrong like but, no but i was but I, the, i'm more curious about what was when, how did you see it as coming when when that song came because you wrote the song they were kind of both uh, their personal experience that is what i was trying to tell them they have generalized it like for a woman we are talking about that you know it's for a personal experience he hates his girlfriend you know what deep inside he is not a saint or something so he knows that his girlfriend kind of fell for his best friend or something he knows that this is not going to work out or something what he is doing is wrong so when he gets drunk both of them want to you know what kill it off man this is getting complicated kill it off or adi or they all that Just meant get into a very yeah get into that zone rather than you know what uh, trying to talk about a woman there yeah, yeah. no that yeah. didn't come across yeah. at all but i was curious about what what your 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 like your thought process was but that that kind of this one because you also look at it from a girl's point of view and there's a scene where his friend hits on her when when uh, you know when he's uh, kind of a thing and she says uh, there's a general sense that but ni you amla dana so it's like you're 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 kind of saying that many guys are like that they just creeps waiting to get a woman in a particular situation so that they can kind of you know uh, get her so that's that's another comment as well about men right is that is that's what that scene is about right do you do you generalize like that it's not about generalized about uh, men rather than that i think the way we 
uh, it's about our, uh, the way we uh, grow up like uh, in our society is been like a lot of it like compressed and uh, everybody you know what most of the time if you ask we are not like you know what uh, kind of if you go uh, i mean uh, in english society or uh, somewhere it is those people get like get it all soon by 14 or 15 they date and everything happens and they just get along with life or something right. like that here it's not that way we just say it 22 23 still it's about work a lot of it we are very conservative very orthodox and uh, people like that so when we get into it and i mean uh, Situation like this, most of the men will, I think, take it. Take I that, mean. yeah. Take it and see, like, you know, because we, it's most of it, like, we've been compressed. Yeah. And uh, for us, still, uh, we might talk as a liberal society, we might talk as, yeah, like, we are, like, very uh, modern and uh, uh, this. But end of the day, we go to our parents and everything, it's wrong to be falling in love with. For a girl, it's worse, like, you know. Uh, so, so the uh, part of I think men are really oppressed here, so that <laughs> that, that comes across rather than you know that poor fellow you know what is get into a situation like that, oppressed, 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 and you bump into a situation where you can little bit have a chance I think to get over you know what facts straight I think any man would be you know what yeah I'd be interested like yeah. nobody is going to play uh, you know what no I'm be a clear good guy I really love to see that guy kind of in my <laughs> real life saying if an opportunity you know knocks on your door and I really want to see a man saying that I want to see a man like give it a chance rather than be like realistically talking, you know, yeah. uh, rather than trying to play a Buddha or something like that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Your interval point, I find it very interesting because it's a very soft, lovely interval point. It's like that's the first time Yamini and Kartik smile at each other and it's his failure, complete. It's a very low point for him. Now, I wanted to know, did you when you started writing this was your interval point or did you also there's another just after that there's another very powerful moment where he confronts Madesh that that photographer and says this is not fair and all that and that man says bugger off and he sends him away so that's also a very powerful moment how do you decide that this is the right fit to to break the movie it's just instinct or is there a, something else it's more than instinct it is I think it's uh very, you know, beautiful moment happens between entire life, uh, right? Uh, that time he knows uh, he never had that kind of support system in his life. And that magical, I mean, I mean, night, a beautiful night when it's raining, he realized that, yeah, that this girl, which I'm not supposed to fall in love, might be the girl I want to spend my rest of my life with. Right. And that girl is like, for sure I want this guy to be, you know, I think this is what the process went on, like, both of them, like, he's, that's why he just drops everything and run away, yeah. because it's scary, it's scary. It's, it's scary, that kind of moment where, oh, this is the girl, then the, which my best friend is uh, also, I love my friend also, and uh, it's very scary, that's why he, rather than, you know, what, get engaged more into the case or something like that, he just runs away. Then the beautiful moment because yeah. even though it's beautiful, he's scared of it. Right. That rain was in the screenplay, no? Yes, 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 of course. Yeah. <laughs> I felt it that yeah. you have written the rain. It's not yeah. accidental. No, no, no. Scared no. Of yeah. <laughs> With it, a lot of other elements came, right? There's yeah. no one there. Yeah. And it is rain and there is... Uh, uh, the vehicle got punctured or whatever, something yeah, like yeah. that happens. It's like the universe just... Yeah. Universe like, just ceased, I mean, what tries to help them. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. There's a lovely phrase here called Irimbu Manishi. But, but what even in, uh, you could use that for Sonia Garwal in the character in 7G also, because she also takes a guy who's not quite there, though he has a different set of issues than Karthik, and kind of strengthens the man. Do you see woman as being this, this fundamental power who transforms a man? Is that what Selva Raghavan sees woman as? No, or just uh... these two movies, these characters worked out that way? No, not that way. She's in Kadal Kondan, she's never with him. Like, uh, for her, her she is just a friend or friend, something. Yeah, yeah. This girl takes, takes quite a lot, more than a lot to be with a guy. Like, you know, to be the person you want to. And you can come and ask me, I mean, a lot of people asked me before, why the hell she has to take so much to be with that uh, right. uh, 
man but i have met so many women like you know like a uh, little bit of alcoholic or little bit of things uh, i have if you see we always talk about uh, comes to this we always talk about men like uh, but i've seen you know like kind of men taking it for women uh, it's, it's the other way also women are so much of falls and everything and men taking it everything quietly because he believes she is special he believes she is like you know bit little bit time she would be fine this guy see everybody is not going to be all right in the day one everybody is not going to be all right in the day i mean 2 years of wedding 3 years of wedding that's the beauty of wedding is that's why you know what 8 years later 5 years later 6 years later suddenly so you can see a yes, lot of couple around 60s or something beautifully they just walk and they, there is no words necessary or something you need to think what it's been like happened you know at the age no they just kind of bit a bit cultivated or you know what uh, developed over the years second year third year problems sorting it out slowly they fell in love i think that's the funda of getting married in my point of view the idea is that and in this particular case she is the one who takes on uh, uh, you know the, the responsibility of of like being with him it's like it's it's like it's my choice i'm going to be with this man right now if you see the other way like he also takes it like she is a tough woman to be with she's got ego she's got uh, nobody talks about it because he's got flaws right but if you think about his point of view this is not going to she is not the woman who is easy to be with also <laughs> right but i think yeah. it, he his things come more apparent because yeah. he falls he breaks his head he has trouble he want he has an ambition that's clearer he struggles generally more in life so i think see, more of it rather than that see it is about the wedding is about or the relationship is about where you find your peace see the it's, 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 think about when you get married it's not about i trust me it's not about you know what uh, quenching your uh, lust or you know or how much you going to make love three days four days or, or rather than you know what finding peace in your life nothing like that it is about where you going to find peace with the man peace with yourself that is what about the both men and women this is where these two characters come they find peace through the other that, person yeah. yeah one thing that you have here which is a little bit new for tamil cinema is that if people if women sleep with someone before wedding it is usually the man who they love or want to be a boyfriend or want to marry whatever it is here i don't know if i've seen another tamil movie where a hero knows that the girl has slept with this with this person and of course in the like you said in the west it happens all the time but here the mentality i guess is a little different so when danush sees that bed and sees that half the bed has not been slept in and only half has been slept in he knows at once that okay so this is what has happened and but he doesn't care he is like i i'm completely like a, i'm not saying he's a saint or something but it's again another of those things that just doesn't bother him at all right why do you think we don't see this more often in our movies is it like we want still want virgin women in the in the movies why do you, why don't why doesn't this like become more common what is your idea what why do you think it's more of a resembles our society society you know? see you talk about it like uh, one of the uh, i mean years and years of our belief and conditioning conditioning and uh, the kind of fatherhood i like uh, or it's more of you know what the way our society is based on i think but but do you think that the so, so filmmakers are are afraid of what people will say or is it the society itself that's not willing See, to even are shown the right way i don't think we have a problem okay yeah we have shown it in the right way and uh, i don't know like uh, i don't think that's a problem that's a problem you know, you know what that uh, is today we getting improved uh, the more modern cinema started coming or something like that. but it should be sh- shown in the right way rather than for the sake of it yeah yeah i yeah. think then it's fine i yeah. think finally your it's because she sends the photo to him uh, to the magazines various magazines it goes to kumudam and that is seen but there is also an element of luck or destiny in that in that moment because 
like you you have an elaborate scene there where you're kind of showing that they see it but then they trash it and then they you know it goes in again by chance so in your view for a creative talent what is 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 are you saying that destiny or luck is as important a factor as your own efforts is that what you're trying to say so more than luck or uh, more than you know what uh, i mean it uh, i think if you keep trying if you keep working on your dreams if you keep doing it like even though the chances are minimal or something and how you get a break is some kind of you know force will help you in a kind of you achieving your dreams it's not about the scene is never about you know what like falling in the dustbin yeah. or anything like that it's about what i want to portray is i keep believing in it see in this case he hasn't even sent it yeah but the whole film he struggled to be there he struggled he's trying to be his passion is there in that aspect even in you know what god or whatever the superior force will help you you know what to get you what you want by you know what other elements or something those other elements are not by like luck or something it's the it's it's you know what it's a effort of so much of effort you put in that effort is like you know what finally you know what that god thinks that okay he's done effort enough he suffered enough it's like about football you just finally hit your you know what become big or something like it's not about that this guy has struggled so long he trained so long everything like that in this we just want a little bit of show in such a way see such a you know what normal you know what more least expected place yes, yeah. you get a break not because it helps you because it is all those years of you struggled right. so much so much and you believed in it even though you are lost hope or anything still the result of you know what the hard work the result, the, the effect of hard work everything you so much of put in it's about your positive and negative you know so much of put in has to come back to you in some, some. way it is not going to go unnoticed or anything it's a form like of karma. that yeah karma like uh, that's what it went on the reason i mentioned the trash bin is also because you know there are there are times along the way that you think your work is just gone you know but it somebody picks it up that that small scene works as a lovely metaphor for the creative process itself because even if this person says ignores it or whatever and puts it in the proverbial trash bin there's a chance that some other way it can kind of come back to you and i think that's beautifully portrayed in that in that one scene which is why this movie i think you know it seems such a personal statement because it's about a creative person a photographer you're a filmmaker uh, whereas when i see an ayrathil or one i'm not seeing like of course i know there are selva trademarks in that movie but i'm not seeing you like i'm not equating uh, thing because it's about a different journey whereas here the, the parallels are so close that which is why when you say that that when you're taking a forest you know let I, like it's almost like i'm saying i'm seeing selva saying you know when i take a perfect shot i feel like god is with me you know just like when i take a perfect uh, like you know in the forest i feel kadavul irukra mari that that's that's the feeling that i get <laughs> so anyway, thanks to you yeah. thanks for talking about yeah, this film because you. i think thank it's you. it's a film that i i kind of it's grown on me the first time i saw it it was a very intriguing film uh, but there were some parts that kind of niggle and and over time and i think it's also because you know some movies you grow into uh, as you grow older and and i also want to ask you uh, this this uh, see the selva of kadal konde you mentioned that he's a much younger selva than than the selva of uh, 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 mike kamenna so that experience has also shaped the way you write so uh, that's what's interesting to watch this movie uh, because when you look at i i'm supposing that this is what 2011 maybe you wouldn't have been able to do a kadal konde at this point do you think so no No, at, at 2011 when you met Mike Kamenna. Yeah, yeah. You did see. Were you a mellower person in life? No, it would have been a different Kadal Kondi. That's it. That's it. <laughs> like, But yeah. you still would have. Been yeah, I would have done it. It would have been a different, very different Kadal Kondi than you are 22 that time. Like, so you were also kind of, you know, uh, it's a, it's a little bit wild and. Uh, uh, everything want to happen like uh, <laughs> you want to experience. You want to explore a lot. Uh, no no it would have been a very different like maybe it would have been a film like guna you know <laughs> wow <Yeah. laughs> thanks sir yeah thanks. thank you <laughs>